What's going on guys? So about a year and a half ago, I did a video comparing resistance bands versus free weights. And now after a year and a half of training exclusively with resistance bands, so no free weights, no machines, no gym, only resistance bands, I feel that I'm in a better position to go into more detail explaining the similarities and differences between resistance bands and free weights. Now, obviously one of the big questions is, can resistance bands create the same kind of results that you can get with free weights? And the answer is absolutely yes. So we're gonna dive into that right now. The first thing that I wanna do is jump into some of the details of how they're similar. So the first one that we have on the list here, got a couple things written out, is progressive resistance. So what does that mean? Well, we've all heard the term progressive overload. So what does progressive overload mean? Well, it means as we get stronger, we need to continue to challenge the muscles. We need to go ahead and we need to push harder or lift heavier. That's the simplest way of putting it. We need to lift heavier. So if I start off with 40 pound dumbbells on shoulder press, as I get stronger, I'm gonna move up to 45 pounds and then eventually 50 pounds. And hopefully I just keep getting stronger and stronger. Now with resistance bands, you can do the exact same thing. You can always go with heavier and heavier resistance. I think one of the common misconceptions though is when you walk into a gym, you see a whole rack of dumbbells, starting with the smallest ones from you know two pounds or five pounds all the way up to 100 plus pound dumbbells. And so a lot of people have the idea that you've got more options with dumbbells than you do with resistance bands, but that's not true. Even with five different levels of resistance bands, which is what I train with, I train with one that is an extra light to a light, a medium, uh, heavy and the one that I just had which is an extra heavy but with those five bands I don't just have five levels of resistance first of all I can create different levels of resistance by how much I stretch the band and that is one of the things that we're going to be talking about here and that is actually linear variable resistance I don't want to jump ahead though but just know that we can create progressive resistance just like we can with free weights meaning we can go heavier as we get stronger so both Free weights and bands are the exact same when it comes to progressive resistance. The second one on the list is variable speed. What does that mean? Well, that means I can control the concentric. So if it's a shoulder press, the concentric is your positive. I can control the speed of my negative or the eccentric or even the isometric, I can hold that. So I can control my total rep speed, which equals time under tension. That's an important variable when it comes to building muscle. So with both free weights, and with resistance bands, we can control the speed of our reps. And actually, resistance bands have an advantage here, and that's because you can train explosively with resistance bands, where it's a little more difficult with free weights. If I were to press a free weight really fast, once that weight gets in motion, some of that momentum carries through and it robs us of resistance. Now, with resistance bands, you cannot create that kind of momentum, so it allows us to train a lot more explosively. So what's the muscle building benefit of that? Well, the muscle fibers that have a tendency to grow bigger and stronger, your fast twitch muscle fibers, those are the ones that make us run faster and jump higher. So training explosively has distinct muscle building benefits. So that's one advantage right off the bat that resistance bands have over free weights. The next one, free range of movement. Simply means, say with dumbbells, we're not locked into one range of movement. I can press the dumbbells up, I can press them in, I can move them any direction that I want to versus machines where sometimes you're just locked in to a range of movement. Now with resistance bands, we can do the exact same thing, train all sorts of different angles. We know that training the muscle at different angles is important for maximum muscle development. With resistance bands, we have the exact same thing, plus resistance in different planes. So I don't wanna jump ahead though, but know that you have the same kind of free range of movement with resistance bands as you do free weights. The last one, and this is a big one, mechanical tension. What does that mean? Well, that is simply just that opposing force. If we're doing curls, that is the force pulling against my muscle, which is going to be with a free weight, that is going to be gravity pulling that dumbbell down. So that's creating tension. And that is all your muscle knows is tension. Now resistance bands create tension. If I were to curl a big giant rock, that creates tension. Your muscle doesn't know the difference. All it knows is tension. So free weights, dumbbells, resistance bands, machines, they're all just tools. It depends on how you use them. So they all create 
mechanical tension. So you gotta get it out of your head that resistance bands can't create the same kind of tension that free weights can because they absolutely can. So let's move into some of the advantages that resistance bands have over free weights. And the first one is linear variable resistance. And all that means is that as you stretch a resistance band, it gets harder the more you stretch it. So what's the advantage of that? Well, picture this. How many times have you been doing biceps curls where you get stuck at the bottom? You know that once you get past that sticking point, you can finish the range of movement. Well, that's because usually, typically, we are weaker at the bottom and we get stronger towards the top. So that's why a lot of people cheat. They swing trying to get past that sticking point or that's when you have a spotter help you pass that sticking point. Well, the nice thing with resistance bands is down at the bottom, they're a little bit easier and the more I stretch them, the harder they get. So as I get to the top in my strongest position in a peak contraction, that's when I've got maximum tension in resistance bands. So now I don't have to cheat, I don't need a spotter because the resistance or the tension created by bands more closely matches the natural strength curve of our muscles. So that's a really cool one. And I actually can demonstrate here, I've got a good example. I've got two ways to actually show you what linear variable resistance looks like. Now the first one, I've attached the resistance band to a dumbbell here, and I want you to see that as I press it, at first the dumbbell stays on the ground because there's not enough tension in the band yet to lift it off the ground. And as I go through the range of motion, all of a sudden you'll start to see that dumbbell come off the ground. Shows you the more you stretch it, the more tension it creates, enough tension to actually lift the dumbbell off the ground. So you can see as I got closer to the top of the range of motion where I'm in my strongest position, that's where I have maximum tension. Now I've got one more way to show you and that's with a digital scale. So you can actually see that as I stretch that band, it's going to create more and more resistance. So I've got a strap on the scale that I'll put my foot through and then we'll grab the band up top here and we'll do that same exact shoulder press and you'll see as I stretch it, you'll see the resistance go up. Okay, so that is linear variable resistance and this is one of the key benefits of resistance bands compared to free weights. And this is also why power lifters, people training for strength, are using resistance bands in combination with free weights to improve the strength in their squat, bench press, etc. Moving on to resistance in multiple planes. Now with free weights, we only have resistance in one plane and that is the vertical plane and because the resistance created is from gravity. Literally, the weight of the dumbbell or bar, whatever you're using, is creating the tension from gravity. So that means we only have that resistance in that vertical plane. This is why when we're doing bench press, we have to lay on our back and we have to press up. One of the advantages of bands is we don't need benches anymore because we can do things standing up, laying down, whatever we want. I could press up, I could press out, I could press down because I can create resistance in any plane because the resistance is coming from the band itself, not from gravity. What is the advantage of this? Well, for one, functional strength. Think about an athlete. You could take a football player who could be big and strong, you'd put him in the gym, and maybe he can bench 405 for 10. But now you take him off his back or off his ass and you stand him up on the ground, does he know how to transfer all that power the same way? Can he transfer it from the ground up through his legs and through his core? And that is functional strength. With resistance bands, you have to learn how to do that because if we're doing presses, I have to brace myself and I have to stabilize my core. So for any kind of athlete, whether you're a baseball player or a football player or a boxer or martial artist, think about where all your punching power comes from. They always tell you it comes from your base, from your core. So that's why training with resistance bands is one of the techniques that all professional athletes use. The best athletes and the best trainers in the world are using resistance bands for that very reason. Constant tension. All right, going back to our example of doing curls, how many times have you gotten to the very top and you felt all the resistance here and then right as you got into a peak contraction where you want the most resistance, you don't really feel anything because you can kind of almost brace it right here. You can 
rest that weight. Now with resistance bands, you're gonna have that tension all the way through the range of motion because we're not relying on gravity anymore to create that resistance. It's the band itself. So at the top where we want peak contractions, peak resistance, we're getting maximum resistance all the way through that range of motion. And that is a distinct advantage. Later on, we'll get into another video. We'll talk about the factors of building muscle beyond just mechanical tension, including metabolic stress, which is the pump, and that's the burn that you feel, the lactate that builds up in a muscle as we start to get that pump. So constant tension is very, very important for building muscle. There's a reason why professional bodybuilders, before they step on stage, are using resistance bands to pump up because they're great for that because of constant tension. So, those are the ways that resistance bands and free weights are similar. The advantages that resistance bands have over free weights, and there's also a couple more that I didn't write on here, one of which is a really simple one. They're lightweight and they're portable. You can take them with you anywhere. You can throw them in your backpack, you can take them to the beach, you can take them on vacation. For me, I like having that freedom to be able to train anywhere I want. I don't have to go to the gym anymore, so it saves me a lot of time, so there's a lot of efficiency there. So now, I can train anywhere I want, I can take it to cool places, I can take it when I go backpacking, I can take it to the beach if I want to and get an awesome workout on the beach. So that portability, that freedom to train anywhere and train anytime is really important to me. So that the fact that they're lightweight and portable is really, seems like a simple benefit, but it's a key benefit right there. I would also say that they're cost effective. Look at the cost of a gym membership. You multiply your monthly membership over the course of the year, and in comparison, resistance bands are actually really, really cheap. So you've got every kind of exercise that you could think of. Anything that you can do in a gym, you can mimic that movement with resistance bands. So you literally have a whole gym's worth of exercises and just a couple bands that you can stuff into a little tiny bag. So distinct advantage, one of the things that I love about resistance band training. We'll cover it in other videos, but there's some other things that are big factors. I would say that when it comes to creating the proper amount of tension, both constant tension, but also the proper amount of mechanical tension to build muscle, it comes down to technique, how you anchor the bands, uh, where you grab them or where you mount them as far as anchor points, etc. Because that's one of the things, if you look at some of the studies where they say, oh, well, resistance bands don't build muscle the same way as free weights. Well, if you look at the fine print in the study, that's because they'll say that at the bottom of the range of motion, there wasn't any tension because the band was slack. Well, no kidding. If you don't have any kind of tension on the band, how's it gonna build muscle? So it comes down to proper technique, how you use the bands. All right, so I guess that's a wrap of comparing free weights versus resistance bands. Make sure you check out the next video where we talk about muscle building specifically. So how resistance bands can build muscle the same way as free weights, and what are those factors for building muscle beyond just mechanical tension, which is what most people think. Okay, to build muscle, I'm just gonna lift heavier and heavier and heavier, and that's what's gonna build muscle. And that's only one piece of the equation. So we're gonna talk about all those different factors for building muscle. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of those future videos. And that's it for now. I'm James Grage. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you next video.